Here we have a diagram showing a cubic curve with its formula and a quadratic curve, parabola, with its formula. And we're told from the diagram that they intersect when x is 0 and when x is 2. And we're asked to find the area enclosed between 0 and 2 and the two between the two curves. So we'll write down what the required area is in terms of integrals. So the required area is going to be the integral from always work from left to right 0 to 2 now it makes not a jot of difference that it straddles the x-axis. We don't need to split it up into pieces. It's just the top curve minus the bottom curve integrated between 0 and 2. So the top curve, that's the cubic one, has formula x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1. So that's the top curve and we're subtracting the bottom curve formula from it. So that's x squared minus 3x plus 1. And remember to include the dx to show the extent of what you're integrating. There's your integral sign, there's your dx at the end. So just to emphasize that, that's the top curve and that's the bottom curve. That's the order that we subtract them in. So, we're not yet doing the integration because we can simplify this. We have an x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x plus 1 and we're subtracting the whole of this expression so it's a minus the x squared. We're subtracting the negative 3x That'll change to plus 3x, and we're subtracting the 1. And that can be simplified. They're still not integrating yet. There's an x cubed term. Minus 4x squared minus another x squared will be minus 5x squared. Let's look at the x terms. 3x plus 3x. That's 6x. The constant 1 minus 1, they cancel, dx. So that's what we're integrating. x cubed minus 5x squared plus 6x. So let's proceed with that. So we don't need the integral sign because we're now integrating. So x cubed, remember the integration increase. So that goes up and divide. So it's x to the 4 divided by 4 minus 5's on the top, x increase to 3, divide by the 3. 6x, six, 6 is on the top, x to the 1 becomes x to the 2, divided by the 2. We increase the 1 to 2 and divide by that 2. And we still have to substitute the two values 0 and 2 into this expression. Now, there is a, a small simplification we can do and that involves the last term. None of the other terms can be simplified. And 2 into 6 goes 3, so we've got a 3x squared for the last term. So that's the expression that we're going to substitute the two values into. So we put x equals 2 and then x equals 0 and we subtract the two values from each other. So x equals 2, let me just guide, guide you with this, there's the x equals 2 for the first bracket and x equals 0 for the second bracket. We'll just keep track of what we're doing. So we have to substitute x equals 2 into this expression. So it'll be 2 to the power 4 over 4 minus 5 times 2 to the power 3 over 3 
plus 3 times 2 to the power 2. And when we put 0 into each of these expressions, 0 to the power 4 over 4 will give us 0. 5 times 0 cubed over 3 again will give us 0. And 3 times 0 squared will give us 0. So let's look at the first term. 2 to the power 4. That's 2 times 2, which is 4, times another 2 times 2, which is 4. And one of these 4s will cancel. We end up with 4. Another way is 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. 16 over 4 is just 4. Uh, any way you do it, or 2 to the power 4 over 2 to the power 2 and subtract the indices, that's 2 squared, gives you 4. This one, 5 times 2 cubed. Now, 2 cubed is 8, 5 eighths are 40, so that's minus 40 over 3. No cancelling there. And 2 squared is 4, 3 fours are 12, we have the 12. This all comes to 0, we're subtracting 0, that makes no difference. So 4 plus 12 is 16, minus 40 thirds. So it would be useful to change the 16 into thirds. So there'd be 3 times 16 thirds. So that's 48 thirds. You can double check by dividing out 3 into 48 does give you 16. So 48 thirds minus 40 thirds and finally get 8 thirds. Now that is the required area so we need to have a unit squared for the measurement. So 8 thirds of a unit squared. So that's part A. Let's now look at part B. And in part B we've got the same diagram but this time we've got a straight line that has equation y equals 1 minus x, which divides that area that we found was 8 thirds unit squared. It divides it into 2. And we're to determine the fraction of the shaded area which lies below the line y equals 1 minus x. So let's take this area between the line and the parabola and let's again work out that area using integrals. So the shaded area, well that's the area that I've shaded like this, will be given by the integral and again the limits are from 0 to 2 and this time the top curve is the line so we use the line equation, 1 minus x, and this time we're subtracting x squared minus 3x plus 1, the parabola, from that, x squared minus 3x plus 1 from it. And remember the dx at the end. So again, just for clarification, that's the top and that's the bottom. And this time the top is the straight line. So, as we did before, let's not integrate immediately. Let's simplify this expression. So, we have a 1 minus x. We're subtracting an x squared. We're subtracting a negative 3x. We're subtracting a 1. And let's now simplify that expression before we integrate. This 1 and this negative 1 cancels. We've got a negative x squared. And we've got a negative x plus 3x, which is 2x. And there's our dx. Now, I have put them in the order x squared 2x. Maybe we should swap that round just to avoid the negative at the beginning. It might be easier. But whatever, it's a positive 2x and it's a negative x squared. Let's try it that way around the calculations might be slightly easier. So let's do our integration. 2x to the 1, the 2's on the top, 1 increases when we're integrating to 2 and we divide by the 2. 
and then minus x squared. x squared becomes x cubed and we divide by the 3. And we still have to put in the values 0 and 2 into that. We can simplify the first expression. The 2's cancel. We get x squared minus x cubed over 3 and have to put our values 0 and 2 in. So let's do that. This part, x equals 2. This part, x equals 0. Let's just put this down so that we don't lose track of it again. So x equals 2 in there. We'll get a 2 squared minus 2 cubed over 3. And 0 squared is 0. 0 cubed over 3 is just 0. First bracket, 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8, so that's minus 8 thirds. And second bracket just becomes 0. So again, let's change into thirds. 4 becomes 12 thirds. And we're subtracting 8 thirds. So we'll get 4 thirds. Now, the question asks us to determine the fraction of the shaded area which lies below the line y equals 1 minus x. Well, the answer we've got for the area below that line is 4 thirds unit squared. Previously, the whole shaded area was 8 thirds. Now, we can see that 4 thirds is 1 half of 8 thirds. If you have 4 of the thirds compared to 8 of the thirds, you've got a half of them. So we could say that 4 thirds is half of 8 thirds. So required fraction, the one that we're asked for, is one half 